this is the 14th video in our series looking at how to set up and configure a Synology NAS running DiStation Manager 7. Having now created user accounts and network shares on our NAS, we are ready to try and access those shares from a computer. So in this video we're going to demonstrate a number of different ways that you can open a network share in Windows. Perhaps one of the most basic methods for opening a network share in Windows is to use run. So if from the desktop we hold down the Windows key and press R on our keyboard, we will display the run window. Now by typing backslash backslash and the IP address of our NAS, when we press enter, we are presented with a list of all of our network shares. We can also use the run window to open a specific network share. So if once again we type backslash backslash, then the IP address of our NAS, backslash, and a specific network share, when we press enter, only that network share will open. You will have noticed that when we use run, File Explorer automatically opens. So if you prefer, you can bypass run and open network shares directly from within File Explorer. If we open File Explorer, and now in the address bar, type backslash backslash, followed by the IP address of our NAS, and then another backslash, a list of the network shares on our NAS will be displayed. If we now select one of these shares, that share will open in File Explorer. While you might already be comfortable with opening network shares in Windows, for those that are not, we can use something called a mapped drive. The main aim of mapping a network drive is to make opening and using network shares easier and more convenient. So rather than having to make someone mount a network share each time that they need to use one, we can simply create a shortcut to a network share that is then pinned to File Manager. If from within File Manager, we select this PC from the sidebar, and then choose the Show More Options icon, from the drop-down menu, we will be presented with an option called Map Network Drive. If we select this option, a wizard window will appear. As Windows likes to assign its drives with a drive letter, first we need to select a letter for our mapped drive to use. While certain letters will be reserved, for example C for your hard drive and D for a DVD or Blu-ray, we can use any letters displayed in the drop-down menu. So if possible, we like to use the first letter to the name of our network share. We now need to set the address of our NAS. However, if we have enabled network discovery, we can simply browse our home network for the network share that we wish to map. As our computer does not have network discovery enabled, we will be looking at enabling it later in this video. In the folder field, we now need to enter the address to our network share, which in this example is backslash backslash, the IP address of our NAS, backslash public. Next, we have two tick boxes. The first, reconnect at sign in. We're going to leave enabled as we always want this map drive to be available when we log into our Windows account. The second option, allow us to use different credentials, will allow us to manually enter user credentials for our network share. However, if you remember back to when we created user accounts for our Synology NAS, we mentioned that if we match the user account and password for our Windows computer with the user credentials that we were creating on our NAS, Windows would be able to connect two shares without prompting us for a username and password. So this second option, we're going to leave unticked. When we select Finish, the contents of our public share will open in its own File Explorer window. However, a shortcut to our public folder will now also be listed under Network Locations. To remove a mapped network share from File Explorer, we can either right-click on the map drive and from the drop-down menu choose Disconnect, or select this PC from the sidebar and in See More choose Disconnect Network Drive. This then displays a list of the map drives that Windows is using so if we highlight the share that we wish to remove and select OK, 
that map drive will no longer appear in File Explorer. You might find that after disconnecting a map drive, it is still displayed in File Explorer. However, this is simply a refreshing issue, so if you close File Explorer and reopen it, the mapped drive will be removed from the sidebar. While the wizard for mapping network shares in File Explorer is very useful, it's not very quick to use, so we prefer to use a terminal command. If from the desktop of Windows, we open a terminal window, and at the flashing insertion point, type net use p colon backslash backslash the IP address of our NAS backslash public, we will issue a command to our computer to map the public folder on our NAS to the letter P. Next, in order to ensure that whenever we log into the user account on this computer, Windows automatically maps our public folder into File Explorer, we need to type forward slash persistent colon Y. Now, if we press enter on our keyboard, Windows will map our public folder to File Explorer. To confirm, if we open File Explorer and select this PC, under Network Locations, we will find that Windows has mapped the letter P to the public folder on our NAS. We can also use the terminal to quickly close a map drive, so if we use the following command, net use, followed by the drive letter of the share we're looking to dismount, forward slash delete. When we press enter on our keyboard, the map drive will be removed from File Explorer. The forward slash command can be particularly useful if we need to remove multiple mapped drives from File Explorer. However, we will need to slightly adjust the command. To demonstrate, we've mapped a couple of network shares to File Explorer. Now, if we once again open a terminal window, and at the command prompt, we type net use asterisk forward slash delete. When we press enter on our keyboard, we are shown a list of all of the network shares currently mapped to our computer. If we type Y, and after pressing enter, wait for confirmation that the command has been completed successfully. When we return to File Explorer, all map network shares will have been closed. Finally, let's take a look at network browsing in File Manager. By default, the ability to browse a network share from File Manager is disabled. This is because not only will the Browse feature use a lot of Windows system resources, it will also add more data traffic to your home network. So we need to think carefully before we enable this feature. As you can see, a pop-up window appears prompting us to enable network discovery. After selecting OK, a message bar appears in the File Manager window. If we click on this message, a menu of options will appear. Let's select Turn on network discovery and file sharing. We are now prompted for our computer's administrator's credentials. After entering the credentials, a pop-up window will appear asking us if we wish to turn on network discovery and file sharing for all public networks. Choose No, make the network that I'm connected to a private network. File Manager will now scan our network and allow us to browse any network shares that we may have created. So under Computer, if we select our Synology NAS, we will see a list of our network shares. To summarize, in this video, we took a look at a number of different ways we can access the network shares on our Synology NAS using Microsoft Windows. In the next video in this series, we are going to take a look at how you mount network shares on a Synology NAS from an Apple Macintosh computer running macOS.